In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to do a RTMP pull, also known as the ability to pull one broadcast into the production truck for another broadcast. So in the end, what, we, what we'll be able to do is be streaming on broadcast A, like we can see here, and we're going to pull in broadcast B as a camera source so we can switch between the two broadcasts, or more importantly, we can do a, something like a live look from broadcast A into broadcast B, which could be at a whole nother location. So looking at my broadcast here, we can see that I have two broadcasts created, broadcast A and broadcast B. I'm gonna pull broadcast B into broadcast A. So what I need to first do is go to broadcast B and go to the edit button. And you can do that on the broadcast grid or on the broadcast page where I just was. So as I scroll down, I'm gonna to go to syndication. And I'm going to do an add RTMP pull endpoint. Once I've added the RTMP pull endpoint, I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down and hit save. Now if we scroll down to that same syndication section, we should have an RTMP address here. So what this is gonna do is we're gonna plug this RTMP address into production truck while we're streaming broadcast A, and it's gonna pull the broadcast that broadcast B is doing into production truck. Now one very important note is that broadcast B has to be live before you can pull it into production truck. So I'm gonna switch over to broadcast B in that production truck on a separate computer. So over here on our second production truck running on another computer, we're gonna go ahead and put broadcast B into test mode. And then we're gonna to go to live. Now it's very important that you go live in broadcast B before you try and pull it into the production truck of broadcast A. If you try and do it before broadcast B is live, it will essentially ruin that RTMP address and it will never work. So if you do try and plug in the RTMP address before going live in broadcast B, you actually have to go back into vCloud and create a new RTMP pull endpoint and use that new RTMP address to work. So we are live at broadcast B. So we're gonna go ahead and copy this RTMP address and we're gonna switch back to production truck for broadcast A. And in production truck, we are going to go up to our preference window under camera B, we're gonna to go to network device. And we will paste in our RTMP information there from broadcast B and hit add. And now we get a little window that says that it has been successful. If, you, if something is wrong, if the RTMP address is incorrect, you're missing a piece, or like I said earlier, if you try and do it before broadcast B is, isn't live, if it's not live and you try and do it, you will get an error message here but it looks like we're all good, so we're gonna go ahead and hit okay. And now you can see, of course, that up on the top, we have broadcast B uh, streaming live from that other broadcast. So anything that's done in broadcast B will show up here, including overlays, video clips, instant replays, everything will show up just as it is being done in production truck there, will show up into this production truck so we can do something like a live cut to that broadcast and you can switch back and forth just like it's a normal camera. You may see some flickering up in the preview window, but that will not affect the output of your broadcast at all. As you can see, we don't have any flickering over on the right side. So just to be clear on what's happening here, the broadcast B broadcast is being streamed out just like normal. It is set up with the same access and availability as a normal broadcast. Viewers can still go watch broadcast B but in broadcast A, we are pulling that broadcast in so that we can also cut to the action at that broadcast or at that location so your viewers can kind of get an idea of what's going on at a second venue or at another game for a tournament. It just gives you an ability to switch between broadcasts and kind of give a, an inside look of what's happening somewhere else off campus. The setup for this is obviously very easy, just creating the RTMP address and plugging it into production truck. But again, the most important thing is make sure you don't try and pull that broadcast into production truck before that broadcast B is live. 
Broadcast A does not have to be live when you do it, but Broadcast B must be live. And trying to do it too early will ruin the RTMP address and you'll have to create a new one.